Hey everybody, it's about um, 2.15 a.m. on the 7th of December 2021. Apart from being my dad's birthday today um, and he's turning 70, 77, I think, this year. Um, we've had some good talks and over the phone and get, generated some interesting ideas with each other, I guess, but... Um, the sadder news is that Peter Kundal, I call him Peter Kundal, his name is Kundal, but I call him Kundal, um, the host of Gardening Australia for many years and a great personality and inspiration to so many gardeners around Australia, especially, has passed away on the 5th of December, a few days ago. I think this is a very um, sad time for, for all of us because he was an inspiration. The only reason I'm re wearing this bucket hat is because I want to look like a goof um, and remember the antics of, of Peter Kundal um, with my bucket hat, which I might call my gardening hat sort of thing. I'm mostly um, not a gardener. I live in an apartment, but... Um, and I don't have a garden of my own. But it's um, it's nice to reflect on how Peter affected our lives. Um, when I was in year five or year six, I think it was year six, yeah. Um, but even before year six, um, I saw Peter on 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 TV when we had very little other things to entertain us. We didn't have smartphones in that time. And we would watch Peter being really enthusiastic about um, his time just gardening, just ploughing a pitchfork into the soil and lifting it up and then digging a hole and putting in some fertiliser. And it was, it was great seeing him so successful in his gardening work and encouraging so many people to be organic farmers um, in a day and age where eating meat products and dairy and eggs is just too much um, and and so so widespread he encouraged us to live our own lives and to take take back control of our own food choices and food sources so props to Peter for doing that. I have a few memories of Peter from very early on. Um, I'm going to do show you at one stage on this channel, I'm going to show you a monologue that I'm doing of Peter's enthusiasm, enthusiasm for Dynamic Lifter, uh, which is a gardening fertilizer. Um, I'm not sure if Dynamic Lifter is completely vegan. I, I guess um, it's an important consideration now. But um, when I was a kid, I didn't think about these things very much. And uh, I just imitated him. And Dynamic Lifter may not be a completely vegan product. It may have animal fertilizer, animal manure in it. But um, the point of gardening is still to, to replenish... Um, to replenish the earth, I guess. So going back to memories of Peter uh, at, at junior school. Um, there was a there was a moment back in when we were leaving Illaroo Farm, which is like a a camp um, in Year Six. Uh, on the way home, on the way, on the way back from there, from on the bus, and my friend Fabian was trying to be a compare for a show. We were asking each other questions, and then he went to the prize section and he was said something like, um, "The prize for you is a gardening set," and I said, "Courtesy of Fisher Price. <laughs> Fisher Price is a toy company, and." Um, I made a joke about that. It was really funny and uh, everybody laughed. But um, 
I think that Peter influenced our lives with gardening so much that this sort of culture pervaded our thoughts and made us so much better than we really were. The Raiders were so prolific. The Camera Raiders, which is a rugby league team, were very prolific in our thoughts as well at the time. And um, we love to support the Raiders. And the Raiders won the Premiership in 1990 and in 1991 as well. So we were very proud of them as well in Canberra. Speaking of Canberra, in 1999, I saw Peter Quindle for the first and only time at the Camber Floriade. Um, and I remember him speaking in public on stage there and telling us all about his time on television and so on. But he was saying things like, you know, I don't trust the doctors. Um, I, the, the doctor was trying to get something out of my ear and I said, um, I'll just get a, one of those earbuds or something. <laughs> I can't remember what he said. It's too long ago. But anyway, basically what he was saying is that was, the doctor was trying to fiddle in my ear and that sort of thing. It was so funny the way he described that. And then he described the time when um, when he was talking about um, he was on the he was doing a, a a TV program for Gardening Australia, and it started to rain. And he said, "Well, I um and and they wanted to stop the show. And and he said, "Well, why don't I just explain to everybody that it's starting to rain?" And he go, "Well, it's starting to rain now, and we can just keep on going." <laughs> Such a funny guy. Um, uh, he will be missed. He will be dearly missed, Peter Kundal. Beautiful guy. He talked about his life in Manchester, how hard it was being poverty, a, a child in poverty, living in Manchester in the 1920s and 1930s and 40s. Um, it would have been a very hard life for him. And he made it through and became Australian and received awards and accolades from Australian you know, officials and He's a great guy, Peter. Um, I wish I could say more about him, but um, he he likes um, various gardening products um, and he likes to support farming, f farming, growing your own fruits and vegetables um, with with things that you have at home and. <sighs> Inspiring, inspiring man. <sighs> I've met a few other TV personalities in my time. Andrew O'Keefe is one, and I've met um, Paul McDermott in the flesh as well at a comedy at a comedy live event. But nothing beats Peter. Peter was the man, and he inspired us in ways that other people were just being very corny and he was just so authentic his accent was authentic he was thick manchester accent and uh, he will be missed rest in peace peter kundal 1927 to 2021 so this guy here stuart my minion who's dressed in farmer's in a farmer's um, dungarees. I said uh, in another video that Peter was his godfather and I kind of made him his godfather in Peter's dying, in commemoration of Peter's life and times uh, because he deserves it and because Stuart deserves to have a good god godfather like Peter. So say hello, Stuart. Hello. Hello. Okay, that's all for me, folks. Um, I will tell you more about the gardening scene in the future. I will let you know how things go with manning my apartment. I actually cleaned the mould off recently, so that's kind of like a good way to commemorate Peter's death is by um, re remembering that I've cleaned my mould off my shower ceiling very successfully after some advice from some friends on Facebook and WhatsApp. So thank you very much to my friends for helping me out with, with advice on cleaning my, my ceiling mould. Everything's fine and dandy. Everything's much better than it used to be in my apartment. 
and uh, things are things are looking up. So bless you in heaven, in Peter. Bless you in heaven. You're in heaven now, and you're with God, and uh, we love you. Thank you so much.